Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another one of our fancy live streams. Uh, today we're going to be doing probably the hardest flight that I've ever attempted in um, YouTube history, at least for me in a while. Uh, we're going to be joining a live event that's uh, taking place uh, from Barcelona, Spain to uh, Toulouse, France. Uh, we're going to be dealing with European VATSIM as well as the accents and the ATC and everything that goes along with it. Uh, for those of you who are joining us today, which will be great, uh, again, uh, for the VATSIM folks, you should have filed your flight plan about two hours ago like I did, just to find out that it had to be refiled. Sigh. But for everybody else, you'd like to join us on this live stream today if you just want to kind of go along i'm sitting here in the cj4 and like i said uh, we're up here at the barcelona you know kind of see what kind of gets thrown at us kind of feel like a uh, sacrificial lamb here not gonna lie because it's gonna be it's gonna be involved especially in this particular airplane because this is not got the best avionics for this kind of a flight but hey we're gonna make do with what we got here and uh, have a good time doing it let's hope all right let's go ahead and uh, fire up our v pilot here we're gonna go ahead and uh, contact ground uh these guys do not have a clearance delivery so we don't have to stress about that so we need one two one eight seven five one two one 0.875 is going to be our ground frequency here. And then, of course, while we're down here, we should also go ahead and check the weather. The local ADIS is 121075. Welcome to the ground. Very good day. Be line 1341 with a 320 at All right, let's check the weather. Airport information, whiskey 1500 Zulu. Wind 131 and 19er. Visibility, tree. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, tree zero. 2.10 Altimeter tree zero decimal zero tree ILS runway tree zero in use Landing and departing runway tree zero VFR aircraft see direction of flight All aircraft read back hold short instructions Advice controller on initial contact you have whiskey Sounds like we have whiskey today so uh, chances are what's going to happen so the way this usually happens is uh, after we go ahead and uh, get the ATIS information, we call up and find out that it's not whiskey because this radio station, for whatever reason, is not talking to the V-Pilot one, but we'll find out. All right, let's go get our clearance and be on our way today. Oh, man. Ah, uh, this is going to be stressful. One, two, one. Uh, we're going to flip over to points. The ground is uh, point eight seven five. All right. Left and fast and uh, eight seven twenty one four five. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and call him up and get a look at the size of that plane. Fingers crossed, everybody. Fingers crossed. Uh, can I follow flying? Uh, absolutely, Edward. You may do so. Echo Charlie, Papa Bravo, Quebec, para prueba de radio. Echo Charlie, Papa Bravo, Quebec, muy buena. Valencia Rodadura, de copia 5. Oh, boy. Perfecto, pues Echo Charlie, Papa Bravo, Quebec, en stand 24, tipo Boeing 737-800, con plan de vuelo a Toulouse envi enviado, tenemos información Charlie a bordo. Wow. Echo Charlie, Bravo, Quebec, que eh, una sola confirmación me confirma, aprobando norte o aprobando sur. ¿A qué se refiere exactamente Echo Bravo, Quebec? Pues eh, le pregunto si el morro está hacia el norte o el morro está hacia el sur. Un momento, se lo confirmo. <laughs> Let's see if I can even get in here. I know, this is going to be tough. I'm not going to do it on Espanol. I can... Echo Bravo, Quebec. Estupendo, muchas gracias, pues. Echo Charlie, Papa Bravo, Quebec. Está autorizado a destino según plan de vuelo. Salida instrumental, Sopet 5 Bravo, pista 1-2. Altitud inicial, 6,000 pies. Sorry for the delay, everybody. I got to wait until he finishes his clearance. <laughs> I have a sacrificial lame here. I gotta wait till he reads it back. We are authorized to Toulouse via Ruta Plan, salida instrumental SOPET 5 Bravo por la pista 1-2, inicial 6.000 pies. Respondemos 6205, Echo Charlie, Papa Bravo, Quebec. He got it. Echo Charlie, Papa Bravo, Quebec. Colación correcta, puesta en marcha, retroceso, aprobando hacia el oeste. Aprobados, QNH local 1017, notifique listo para rodar. All right. <laughs> We're never gonna get in. Oeste. Y llamamos para rodar, eco, con EH1017, eco, eco Bravo, Quebec. All right. Not familiar enough. Ah, it's fine, I wouldn't worry about it. All right, here we go. Valencia Tower, Red 64, ready to copy IFR to Toulouse. Red 64, very good evening, sir, for your select. The route, uh, your final level must be even. 
Do you accept the uh, level final level two six zero or do you prefer to climb final level two eight zero? Two eight zero red six four. Okay, flying at level 280, and now you are clear to destination as filed by a SOPET 5 Bravo departure on runway 12, initially climbing altitude 6,000 feet, set the walk 6232. Clear to file to Toulouse, expect flight level 280, where we're going to descend, go by the SOPET 5 approach, runway 2, Our initial climb will be 6,000 feet, squawk 6232, red 64. Resi 4, read back correct. Call back when ready for taxi push. is uh, approved. All right, 6232. Whoa! He was not happy about the uh, accidental altitude. I thought we were going east. Technically, we're going west here. Somebody go flip that over. We're going to go ahead and get in our initial altitude and get ready to go. Oh, man, my heart's beating now. This is all your fault, guys. I hope you realize this. All right, 6,000 is going to be our initial. The uh, SOPIT 5, by the way, is going to put us on an initial heading of a 075. Sorry for everybody who's joining us here. Uh, like I said, this is a real-world flying now. you got to kind of take your time. 075. Uh, uh, 8 to 6 kilo heavy. Only noise on your transmission, sir. No voice. No voice. All right, here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask them for taxi now. The taxi should be relatively straightforward. I'm just going to make sure that I've got my diagram ready to go. Okay, so good uh, afternoon, Valencia Ground. <laughs> to Frankfurt with information Charlie on board, the stand to three. Hello, Fanta, 86 Kilo, just uh, could you confirm uh, uh, your plane is facing to the north or facing to the south? <laughs> facing to the north. Uh, Sorry, everybody. Okay, Lufthansa 6 Kilo, you're clear to destination as filed via SOPET 5 Bravo departure, runway 12. Initially climb 6,000 feet and set the <laughs> to 17. Here to Frankfurt via SOPET 5 Bravo departure, runway. I think we can get in right after this. 6,000 feet and a squawk 6. They should have had a departure clear. Good thing we're not in France, by the way. Lufthansa 6 Kilo, repack correct. Call back when ready for push and start. Valencia Ground, Red 64 is ready for push and start. IFR to Toulouse. Red 64, your push was already approved, sir. Just call back when ready for taxi. Valencia Ground, Red 64, ready for taxi. If you are ready for taxi, you can taxi holding point runway 12 via Whiskey 5, then Bravo Gate and November. Taxiing to and hold short, runway H112 by Whiskey 5, Bravo 8, November, Red 64. All right, now we need to figure out where that actually is. <laughs> so we're on the West USA server, but in VATSIM right now, we are, like I said, up here. And we do not have a valid chart for Toulouse. Whiskey 5, let's go ahead and zoom in here. Sorry, you guys can't see this, but I'm. Push back and start up, Blue Fence, 86 kilos, stand to me. General Aviation North. Uh, 86 kilo push and start uh, facing to the east. Uh, make a long push to use the gate Charlie. Approve it. Local QNH 1017. Report ready for taxi. Uh, Approved. Facing east and we will go to Charlie uh, taxiway and we will make sure to uh, comply with all your inquiries. Uh, Yes, sir. Just make a long push. Uh, you will use uh, Charlie Gate uh, to take the taxiway to the runway. All right. They've given us a permission to uh, runway one two here, which is going to be off to our left. So we're going to be taking a right. And good evening, good afternoon, Alpine 74 Mike Romeo, Jensen Katie, go to 3. Alpine 74 Mike Romeo, hello. Welcome to Valencia, continue gate alpha, stand uh, of finger 6. Uh, could you say again, uh, sorry, Alpine 74 Mike Romeo. Yes, sir, 74 Mike Romeo, con I'm going to check to make sure I'm not cutting anybody off. Gate alpha and finger number 6, at your right. Coming at uh, get Alpha, finger number six. Uh, thank you, Alpine 7 for my chromium. All right, fingers crossed this is Whiskey 5 because this does not show up on my diagram. But I know this is Alpha, so I'm not going to stress about that. Good afternoon, Speedbird 77 Tango. 
stand for information, Charlie. Request clearance, please, uh, to Toulouse. Speeder 77 Tango, hello. You're clear to destination Toulouse as filed by a SOPET 5 Bravo departure on runway 12. Initially, climb altitude 6,000 feet, set a squawk 6210. All right, I think we managed to stealth by. Cases to Toulouse, SOPET 5 Bravo departure off runway 12. Oh, did you see the bounce? 6,000 feet altitude initially with a squawk 6210. And he's way better at that than I am. Seven seven tango, read back correct. Call back. We're ready for push and start. Oh, okay. Ground control, Charlie. Bravo Delta, radio check. For X-ray, Bravo Delta. Hello, Valencia ground. I copy you five. Order uh, um, request uh, clearance delivery for flight. This is Valencia Airport, uh, Edward. For Bravo Delta, you're clear to destination Toulouse as filed via SOPET 5 Bravo departure and runway 12. Initially, climb altitude 6,000 feet, set a squawk 6216. Hold your ground, stand by please. There we go. So I have a, I'll go paste this for everybody if anybody wants to, I kind of follow along so far. Uh, I'll paste this right here. Ugh. That's what I'm using as far as the chart. I've got a way better chart when we uh, get up to Toulouse. Like I said, the flight's not as bad. All right, once we get in the air, this will be a lot easier. Look at that wind, holy smokes. And we'll go. Be like one, two, four, one. He sounds like I do. <laughs> Echo Charlie Bravo Quebec, uh, ground. Adelante para Echo Charlie Papa Bravo Quebec. Echo Charlie Bravo Quebec, uh, me disculpas, tiene un tráfico ahora mismo a sus seis haciendo push en un 748 de Lufanza. Mantenga posición hasta que se esté libre la ruta para su push. Aún seguimos con el embarque, pero lo sabemos, estamos al tanto. I don't think he noticed we took the wrong taxiway. He's too busy. Valencia <laughs> Ground, uh, buenas tardes, Emirates S1, which is located on the way 12 via Hotel 4. Emirates uh, 81, hello, welcome to Valencia. All right, so now we're going to go pop over to Tower real quick. Gate, bravo. We need 118.550. Gate uh, Bravo 1, Whiskey 2, Emirate 81. Sorry, people behind me, I didn't mean to hit the brakes. Alright, let's get ready for takeoff. Traffic holding, short of Rugby 1, 2, are you on this frequency, sir? Now, I have no idea how many people are getting ready for takeoff behind us, so uh, this could be interesting. All right, that's that. Oh. <laughs> you have no idea. All right, there's a gamer since 65. I think we're ready to go. Valencia Tower, Red 6-4 is holding short of 1-2. Uh, request takeoff to Toulouse. Break row 64, hold short of runway 12, please. Break, break, break to use the weight. Wind 110 with 10 not runway 12, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 12, right at the right. Break row 64, good evening, sir. Valencia Tower, traffic information, the final runway 12. Say again for Red 64. Red 64, traffic information, say Boeing 737-800, short final runway 12, report traffic in sight. We'll report traffic in sight, Red 64. Red 64, behind the landing traffic, line up and wait runway 12 behind. Line up and wait behind the traffic that we have in sight, Red 64. Ah! <laughs> I had to do it this way. I had to do it the hard way. Notice half of the fun is actually getting in the air. So, all right, everybody, we get to uh, judge this guy's landing. You know, he's sitting here watching me just sort of chill here. Let's see how everybody else is doing on YouTube right now. 
Uh, look behind you. Oh god! <laughs> That's so funny. So <laughs> well, yeah, I knew this a thing for everything. So anyway, uh, the uh, takeoff we're going to be using today, uh, now that I have a couple seconds to actually uh, you know, get ready here, it's kind of cool. Basically what you do is you're going to take off. Uh, you're going to do this really, really, really gentle uh, left turn. Then you're going to do a little right turn. You're going to go straight out and you're going to intercept this. Uh, basically, it's a VOR. Then you take a left to the north. And by then, they're going to hand us off to uh, departure and everything like that. All right, here he comes. Remember, he gave us line up and wait. Here he comes. No pressure. He just got back from France. He's going where we're coming out. Uh, he's coming from where we're going today. So, uh, like I said, all right, we got to line up and wait, which means we got to go, go, go. Here he comes. Land it, land it, land it. Swing that to zero eight, back eight to the left. Maya Hotel three, please. Back eight to the left, Maya Hotel three, uh, Rainer to the right. Yeah, well. Now, if we're lucky, he'll give us clearance to take off as we start to get out of this position. Fingers crossed. I love this runway. You can, like, start at the line of the runway. All right. Last minute checks. Give everything a wiggle. And now we wait patiently. All right. One last check. No idiot checks, people. No idiots. No idiots. No whammies. No whammies. No whammies. Actually, we really want nav right after take off. Gotta watch our speed real carefully. Fingers crossed, everybody. Fingers crossed. Of course, he's gonna give us a ridiculous uh, takeoff one. Does VATSIM not require you to fly with only VATSIM? Uh, you might not see other people flying VATSIM. Do you mix and match sims? Okay, that's a question for a little bit later, uh, Dave, because any second they're gonna call us and tell us it's time to go. So we just. Want... To zero 08, contact Val Valencia, ground on 121, decimal 87. Thanks for time. Thank you for flying. Uh, 1187, uh, Rainer to the right. Thank you for flying. Red 64, wind 110 degrees, we 10 knots, and we want to clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, red 64. All right, here we go. This is when you really wish you could pause. So we're going to climb up to 1,500 feet, and then we're going to start working on the actual departure procedure. Let's go. Yeah! Yeah, the departure procedure here is wild. You basically climb up to 1,500 feet, and then you're going to take this weird little ziggy zag thing, and they're going to call us in a second and call us to contact the departure. So we're going to come to the right a little tiny bit here. Watch your speed. Set 64, contact Valencia approach frequency 1, 2. Okay. One two zero decimal one. Have a good evening. Thank you for flying. One two zero point one red six four. Once you approach, red six four is at three thousand climbing for six thousand. Red six four, hello, you're identified. Continue clearance to level two four zero. Continue red six four. Hello, 2 uh, out of for one minute. Dot report Yes, you all saw me violate the speed limit. This is requiring every bit of concentration I have at the moment. Okay. <laughs> Easy nine zero contact tower one one eight decimal five five. One one eight decimal five we're going to Toulouse, France. <laughs> You can proceed at Sopet. Copy for Red 64. 
Hello, this is Lieutenant Fire Dispatch. Thank you. Plan area 124, continuous and altitude 5000 feet over Opera in H1017. So what he's done is he's just given us clears to soap it, which is uh, basically up here. Height one two four. Sorry, I'm quiet, but I'm trying to concentrate here. Okay, <laughs> I think we're almost ready to relax. Plan A124, after Opera, you are clear for the approach. Plan we want to QNH 1017, destination your discretion. After Opera, we are clear to the LS approach. Uh, runway 12, descend the main discretion. Uh, QNH 1017, runway 824. And you can see everybody else sneaking up on us. All right, I can finally relax a little bit. A little bit. Because in about 10 seconds, he's going to tell me to climb up to ba 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 or something like that. You'll see. Oh, hey, how awful. Nice to see you. Valencia Approach, good afternoon. The fans uh, 86 kilo climbing to flight level 060. Uh, stop uh, 5 Bravo departure. Fans 86 kilo, hello, you're at 25. Continue climb to level 240. Continue climb to flight level 240, Lufthansa 86 Lufthansa. Meanwhile, we're just here, just doing our thing. All right, so pet. This is Delta Mike 471 at flight level 250, direct to Zaura. Delta Mike 4711, hello, you're identified, proceed at Opera. This is Delta Mike 4711, direct to Opera. Delta Mike 4711, continue arrival, Saura 4 Delta, expect we want to. Please repeat for Delta Mike 4711. He's just like me, he can't hear anything. <laughs> Delta Mike 4711, expect runway 12, continue arrival, Saura for Delta. This is Delta Mike 471, copy that, one way 12, uh, over Saura for Delta. All right, we've been cleared up to 240. Going up. November descienda discreción 5000 pies sobre ópera QNH 1017. I was just doing some quick wheeling and dealing with the approach guide just to make sure I didn't miss the number. Delta Mike 477, when it is 110. Delta Mike 471, descending to 11. So the SOPID chart that I had was out of date. It gave me the wrong altitude. So uh, another warning for people who attempt to do this uh, just double check to make sure your chart's accurate. <laughs> okay, let's check in with everybody at YouTube. Ah, all right, folks. Um, I think I'm finally just cleared 10,000. I can start to pick up some speed here, and I'm going to go ahead and pick up. I can finally relax a little bit. So um, I've never flown out of Valencia before. So I'm um, just kind of gone, going as I go kind of a thing. But we're doing okay so far. Uh, that was pretty embarrassing. Uh, he already gave me clearance, and he told me that I already had it. He's probably giving me the most evil looks right now, but that's okay. We're getting out of here. We're going to have to deal with the French controllers in about 10 minutes, so... Uh, we are ready for the tango, tango. I'm going to enjoy the mountains while we're here today. We are ready for descent. The interesting thing is, there is so much traffic behind and ahead of us. It is unbelievable. We want to see some... If you want to see something really cool. New Zealand 61 Whiskey, hello, you're at 25, expect runway 12 by Asaura for Delta, descent uh, level 110. Alright, here we go. So hit that and uh, go, 
go take a peek at uh, Spain and France right now. It's uh, it, it's incredible. New Zealand. Wow. Everybody showed up today. I feel sorry for the people in France right now because they are getting hammered. Oh man. Off we go. Oh man, I need like a, a breather. Can I like give a high five to somebody else real quick and have them kind of take over for me for a little while? <laughs> beautiful mountains though. Um, believe it or not, I have been to Spain before. Uh, España is a beautiful country. I do almost... I almost speak the language, but um, I can get myself in and out of trouble, but don't pretend like I can read like a Spanish newspaper or anything like that. You know, hablo español más o menos, but like, that's it. All right. Um, so I was asked, are you flying the stock? I'm actually flying the stock one, which was a terrible idea. Because uh, one of the problems I was running into... One of the problems I was having... Say again for Red 64. Red 64, contact Barcelona 132.35. Sorry, I can't get the first uh, two digits. Red 64, contact Barcelona 132.35. 132, decimal 35, Red 64. All right, let's give him a call. Uh, look at the 7 and X ray, stand my eye, better call approach. Break, top Swiss 48 Baba Lima, taxi 25 left via Kilo. Clear to cross runway 02, it's Nancy. Watch out, taxi holding point 25 left via Kilo, cross runway 02, top Swiss 48 Baba Lima. Nippon cargo 051, radio speed 250 knots. Approach, Red 64 is with you at flight level 240. Red Cross 64, identify to climb a flight level 280. I'm at maintain 280, Red 64. Here we go, 9284, winds Barcelona 21014, not from way to. Going up! Clear long. <laughs> Two five right. Uh, here we go. Nine two eight four. <laughs> so the good news is, I meticulously had to recreate this flight plan, like you would not believe. Hey, in order to like get this perfect, based on what they were giving us as the advice today. So um, this has been like a th three-hour experience for me, and I just got in the plane. Nippon Cargo zero five one. Contact Valencia one two zero decimal one. One two zero decimal one. Nippon Cargo zero five one. Now we're um, basically, so if you're trying to keep track of where we are right now, basically what's going on is we're above everything and now we're within the track on controller. Yes, this aircraft is difficult to fly. It would have been easier in the citation, believe it or not, or not the citation, the longitude, but yeah. I wanted to flick a pain everybody had. How we doing? Ah, I lost everybody. That's all right, though. So now we're going to get to the hard parts. I know you're all probably sitting here saying, wait, we haven't gotten the hard part of this yet? Yeah, look at how bad I'm embarrassing myself, by the way, though. It's okay, though. I'm new to Spain. I'm new to Spain. Forgive me. Forgive me. But uh, now for the hard part, we have to descend into France. So to descend into France, we're going to be doing... Radar, good afternoon. Lufthansa 86 kilo, flight level 240, inbound to Ebrox. So what we're going to be doing is we're basically going to be using what they call a terminal arrival procedure where we're going to have to drop off the face of the earth and then they're going to give us some kind of ridiculous visual or ridiculous ILS and there's going to be like 30 people behind us. So Report So this is going to be absolutely nuts. So, David, you're absolutely correct on those approaches. And when I fly the approach, don't be surprised if I end up doing it by hand. Like, I'm ready for anything, to be honest, but, like, we'll see what happens. We'll see. Thank you. All right, 28,000. We're at a cruise altitude, thank God. Ah. I didn't catch a word of what he just said. Yeah, 
All right, here's the trick. Go to 83% on the fuel flow, or the uh, N1 right here, and that should put you right at the correct cruise speed here. If I can get it. That'll do it. So now the interesting thing we have here is because we are in this like crazy overarching mega control center, he controls all of Spain all under one heading right now. So uh, we're basically going to be hanging out with these guys for a while until, like I said, they transfer us over to uh, France, which is, like I said, going to be crazy. And we're cruising beautifully here. We're actually going a little fast. i got to reduce the power just a tiny bit. So we filed for 450. We're getting 456, so we got to slow down a tiny bit. 200, thanks. This, by the way, is why you have a crew of two up here and not a crew of one, so that uh, you can not, not have to worry about it. Ask one, Barcelona. <laughs> Ask one. Oh my god, don't use the travel to function. Never ever press this button. Uh, Dave, you're absolutely correct on that one. You descend, yes. Yeah. I saw a negative. Uh, I thought you were uh, requesting it. There it is, 7-4. Let me know when you want to descend. Ascot one, affirm. Ah, no, it's, it's nice, Luke. You picked literally the most stressful stream I've had so far. Next time we're flying around in the mountain, it's in tail draggers, I swear. That's what I get for having a pole, by the way. But uh, one thing I want you to get is I'm not good at VAT sim. You should know that by now. But it doesn't mean you can't try it. Just do it. You're going to get good at it over time. It takes time. Just don't stress. And we're going to give just a few RPM here. I was doing better a minute ago. There we go. Nice. All right, let's start getting ready for coming down. All right, so we're going to be on, it's going to be the ASPIT approach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a copy of this. I'm going to post this up in the chat real quick for anybody who likes to read it. So if you want to take a look at that real fast, it's uh, pretty useful. And what that will do for us is that will give you uh, the document. So what we're going to be looking at is if uh, you do have that in front of you, right? So what you want to do is you want to surf that sucker to about page 29. So if you have 29 in front of you, if you want to look in the bottom center, you're going to see something called ASPIT. That's going to be our initial point. But what they'll do is they'll tell us to descend via, or they'll give us specific altitudes all the way down. Like you can see, it's a flight level between 8,000 and 5,000. Set flight of 300 and um, runway 25 to the approach. Barcelona, uh, here we go, 9284. Do you mind if I take one of the cargo stands, please, sir? Here we go, 9284. Apologies, I wasn't aware. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like if you want to see me on Vatsim map, I'm there. <laughs> yeah, that's me. And you also got the little thing at the top of my screen so you can see how we're doing here. Yeah, 9284. That is like painfully out of date, though. Lufthansa, 182, request descent and just confirm. Uh, uh, stop it to Papa arrival for Valencia. Look at the 1182. Oh my gosh, there are so many controllers. The good news is they're not going to hand us off for another 15 minutes, so we got plenty of time to relax. <sighs> okay, so notice they're using the same position I used to get out to get there. I just think that's kind of fun. Just a couple RPM. Okay, so I've never been to this part of Spain before. I, I get to relax. This is so nice. Uh, zero, zero, so what you're going to see real quickly is you've got, you know, basically flying over the Pyrenees here, the Basque region of Spain. Like I said, I've been to Spain only in Barcelona, which is an absolutely beautiful city. The uh, food is absolutely great. It was kind of fun because I was there when um, all the airport workers were on strike. So they basically had to bring in a bunch of government folks and the military to kind of handle things. It was a very, very interesting experience to be flying in and out of an international airport like that. But uh, that was absolutely wild. And the reason we were down in Barcelona is because basically we were coming on a nice little cruise of the entire um, you know, the Mediterranean. We got to do Italy, we got to do Cote d'Azur and everything like that. Absolutely beautiful area. It's the first time I've ever been to the Mediterranean. I had to make sure I ran in and jumped in real fast, like the only opportunity I had for it, just so I know that I could get it. And now, no, you're not hallucinating. The airplane is actually going like this. That's uh, Microsoft uh, Autopilot PID controllers for you. Um, I could come in here and automate, uh, throw it into heading hold mode, but even that has its flaws, so you just gotta kind of be mindful of it, that's all. Okay, oh my gosh, it's a lot of things. CJ4, da 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 da, I see you on Simulware. Don't need to try, I'm a student pilot at EMB. Uh, flight, okay. 
Yes, uh, Kevin, uh, you missed it, unfortunately. Uh, they actually called us and uh, told us that we can't do 270. It's got to be 280. He, he did not sound happy with me at all. Probably because he might know who I am. And he's like, oh, I'm going to show. No, I'm sure he's a wonderful person. But he's absolutely right. We're traveling west. We're not traveling east. Because I was thinking east. Because if you look at the chart, we're actually coming a little bit to the right. And then we come back to the west. So it's like, ah, whatever. Top Street 48 Baba Lima. Sorry, Papa Lima, go ahead. Top Street 48 Baba Lima, I'm unsure if you're aware that of the, the terrible route you filed. Uh, would you like... <laughs> do, do you, do you want to follow it? <laughs> uh, if you have anything better for us, we can take it. Otherwise, we, we will fly the route, yes. Perfect. I'm actually passing somebody on my left wing right now who's uh, coming down. He's right over here. Could you spell that for us? Top 3 Flight Papa Lima. Oh, thank you. Giron Direct. Top 3 Flight Papa Lima. And after Giron, fly right Aspect. Giron Aspect Flight Papa Lima. Thank you. So, uh, one of the strategies. <laughs> uh, so there we go. 9284 on stand 136. Those guys are pros, not me. There we go, 9284. Welcome to Barcelona. Notice all the bad weathers in France. Bye-bye. And you, sir. Thank you so much for your time and your control. It's much appreciated. Bye-bye. Ah, that guy's awesome. He gets a gold star. Buenas tardes. El Espano Cinco Lima en Alicante hizo golpear para Valencia. El Espano Cinco Lima, bueno, Guillermo, autorizó Valencia, Valencia, cuatro alfa, pista uno cero, responder seis, dos, dos, cuatro. I'm just enjoying the chat, to be honest. Uh, Junior, se te escucha un poco bajo. Puedes repetir para el Espano Uno Cinco Lima. El Espano Uno Cinco Lima autoriza Valencia, Valencia cuatro alfa, pista uno cero, responder seis dos dos cuatro. Valencia cuatro alfa uno cero seis dos dos cuatro. El Espano Cinco Lima. Se me sigue escuchando abajo. Poquitito. Pues la colación correcta, vamos a. Nice. Now that like. You learn Spanish in school, and then you actually hear Spanish, and you're like, nope. <laughs> so uh, one of the things you could do in the real plane that we can't do is uh, we don't have the ability to do cell cal up here. So what you could do is you could get the most recent winds basically in the air and actually contact. In the U.S., so we have ADSB. Which will give us, if we have a FISB in, you can actually get the weather so you know exactly what the METAR is going to be and what runway to expect, even though we're still like 10 minutes out before we're going to be descending. Lufthansa 3 Yankee Alpha D, send 2300 feet, QNH 1017. Now, notice using QNH, uh, for those of you in the US who don't know what QNH is, they uh, use a different unit because we use inches of mercury because we're lame. Did you call us? Lufthansa 3 India Alpha? Three in the Alpha, yes, I did. Descend 2,300 feet, QNH 1017. Yeah. Descend 2,000 feet, QNH. No! We're going to get to the hard part, because when you get to Toulouse, France, they have a totally different way of labeling taxiways. I'm so screwed. Uh, Valencia, I'm just going to ask real quick. Lufthansa 1182, request lower, please. 1182, contact Valencia 120, that's the move one. Bye-bye. One two zero decimal one. Thank you. Bye bye. Top six correction easy two five one five. Contact Valencia one two zero decimal one. Bye bye. Two zero decimal. I love the little bye bye. Easy five one five. Top six flight Papa Lima request flight level two seven zero as final. Top six for a Papa Lima climb flight level two six zero as final. Roger climb flight level two six zero. Top six for a Lima. So what I'm doing now. Is I'm just getting a quick winch. Ryanair 117 Zulu, hello. Set squad code 6233. Ah, oh, I've disappeared. Easy I've lost everybody but Sudo, Reaper, and Laflarog. We're entering into a new server zone. 19.43Z51 Uniform Mecca. Thank you very much. Have a good afternoon. A Red Cross 6, a 4, as I rock. <laughs> A French controller will tell you the winds in France. Thanks for it, six four. Sorry, I don't have to. Nope, that's a no. <laughs> I asked nicely, though. The other secret reason why I just uh, made that request is because I was kind of curious to see um, if there's anything they could give us information-wise, because this happens so fast once we start getting to these mountains. We basically drop off the sky, and then we have to quickly get contact, and... Oh, it's going to be a nightmare. 
it's gonna be a nightmare. So uh, you all better like this, cause uh, I'm working for it today. All right. Two to one, two, two, that's my life, my son, little one. Thank you, brother. Look at the three in the Alpha Fly Direct table. Direct table, Alpha Fly Direct three in the Alpha. I think the hardest part of this so far is honestly the accents, but that's obviously my accent's just as bad, so. Hey, I'm back. Nice. Hey, there's everybody. Welcome back, everybody. Also, I should do my thing. Welcome back, Laugharog, USAPR, Dreamed Claw, Welcome to Loaded Alarm, Reaper MD. I'm guessing I can't quite make out who that is, but I get you, bet you this is a welcome back as well. I don't think anybody's... Oh, si welcome back, Simon. You're right off my right. And again, sorry for the super short notice, but like I said, uh, we had to see what the weather was actually going to do today so we could actually decide we were going to fly. And uh, this was just something different, just something different. Like I said, once we get down to the ground, oh my God, if you've not seen Toulouse Airport yet, it's it's not bad. It's two parallel runways. On the left side, you've got like all like, you know, your Airbuses and everything like that. On the east side, you've got your actual terminal and gate, but there's two runways. So if they bring us in on the right runway, we've got an easy time taxing. If they bring us into the left runway, it's like... One one seven Zulu. It's going to be a nightmare. Three Papa Ivan, runway two four left. Report ready for descent. <laughs> I just confirmed that was the uh, Godox two kilo for two four left. Runway one one seven Zulu. Three. Look at these mountains. Holy smoke, those things are tall. Hey, you guys wanted to go to the mountains. And you also want to vat sim. We did it. <laughs> Now, one of the cool tricks here is, uh, for those of you who are nervous about VATSIM and don't want to use your voice, uh, one of the secret strategies is you can actually do the entire VATSIM experience completely by texting, or not texting, by using text typing. And that's great because you can just copy paste what they tell you to do and just er, paste it back for the readback. It's a great lazy way to uh, get the hang of things if you um, like to kind of get used to this. Because as you can see, I, I'm pretty bad at this. Oh, Gamer since 88, welcome back. Keep losing people and gaining people. It's probably my fault. We have some traffic way, way, way over here. I think he's too high for us, though. So what you guys don't see is I have a traffic thing that tells me where everybody is. He is way too... Actually, he's right at our altitude. He's at 26,000, climbing for 30,000. He's right over here somewhere. I don't think we're going to run into him, though. He's basically going to cut us off because he's a lot faster than we are. Now, one of the fun mistakes you can make on this is uh, accidentally closing the VAT sim client, and then also, boop, you disappear off the universe. It's so amazing when you do stuff like that. Oh, man, look at this. All of a sudden, it's like agriculture, agriculture, whoosh, and everybody is uh, right back. Love it. Love it. Emerson's 88. All right, so basically, we're going to be coming right through. Our descent point is basically, like, see where this mountain is right here? They're going to... In, a, in about two in about two seconds they're going to call us and tell us to descend actually in a two seconds i'm sorry it's uh da, 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 that's 20 nautical miles 17 20 that's about eight minutes <laughs> they'll call us it'll transfer us over to the uh, french controllers because we're about to basically cross over the border here the basque region and uh, then they're going to basically hand it off to us and it's kind of the rest is history so to speak of course, uh, as everybody pointed out, we did not start in Barcelona. We started in Valencia, but uh, that was my boo-boo. All right, how are we doing here? Oh, my gosh. I wish I could share this picture. If you look at Toulouse approach... Red 64, fly direct Giron. Red 64, say again for Red 64. Red 64, fly direct. Actually, for the sequence, turn right heading 050. 050, Red 64. And this is where you wish you had nice avionics. Not that they're bad avionics, but we're going to be fighting this thing the whole way down. That's on control. Good afternoon. I told you they were going to call us. Anyway, what I was... Romeo, Alibid, one way to get out level 25 right, descend level 100. Okay, so if I... If I had to guess, and again, I'm guessing because they don't tell you these things until you get there. Uh, what they're going to do is they're basically going to take us way, way out to the east, and then they're going to take us straight in for a 27 right. I'm calling it now, but unfortunately, that's going to put us at a really funky angle on the way down, as you'll see. But, um, eh, you got to do what they say. All right, just checking everything real quickly here, Aspit. Yep. 
Good thing the weather in France right now. This this nastiness goes away because we're going to get through it, and then we'll be able to kind of make our way down directly. But like I was saying a couple moments ago, if you go on Similar real fast and take a peek where our destination is, that's a lot of airplanes. So <laughs> it's going to be nuts. Uh, in the rear with the gear. I love it. Hey, I think it's great. I think it's great. This thing doesn't have auto throttle, by the way. I just been, uh, I just kind of stuck it on one thing and just left it there the whole time. It took me forever to get the speed that we actually wanted here, but um, oh my gosh, here we go. Fingers crossed he doesn't hand us off after he gives us a weird altitude or something like that. Now the cool thing is, and you never get to see this from the pilot's perspective, what we look like on the radar screen right now. We're just a dot with a little box next to it that has our numbers and our altitudes and speeds and everything like that. So uh, well, like I said, we'll kind of do this. And we are, remember that airplane I was telling you about a couple minutes ago? He is now over here somewhere. And I think, nah, he's too fast for us. He's going to go right by us. Fingers crossed, like I said, they're not going to change up the approach on us because otherwise we're going to have to really wing it, literally. Ascenso nivel 330. Eh, Saura 4 Delta, eh, pista 10 y continuamos para eh, 330 o eh, Ascenso 01 Eco. 01 Eco, efectivamente, continúa Ascenso. I'm just reading through the chart right now. 330 a nivel final, muchas gracias a buscar Ascenso 01 Eco. Red Cross 640 Navigation Direct Zero. I did not catch that. Red 64, proceed direct, Zero. Uh, 2848 Papa Lima Descent, level 200, contact for 125 decimal 1. 125 decimal 1, and we descend flight level 200, top 64 Papa Lima. Thanks for your time. The There's another 64! 360 Romeo, Charlie Lima, Echo 1, Whiskey Transition. Well, 360 Romeo, Charlie Lima, Echo 1, Whiskey Transition. And we're at 1170, request descent. 1170, Lurisa, and level 130. Send Barbara 130, when I'm 1170. Barcelona, buenas tardes. Papa Bravo, Quebec, con usted, nivel de vuelo 240. Ego Bravo Quebec, contacto radar ascenso, nivel final 300. Ego Bravo Quebec. All right, that was fun. ¿Puedo confirmar para Ego Bravo Quebec? Efectivamente, Ego Bravo Quebec, ascenso 300. Ascendemos nivel de vuelo 300 final, Ego Bravo Quebec, gracias. El Spain 15 Lima, Alicante 0808, nudos pista 10 autorizado a despegar. Autorizado este a Gaspiano 5 Lima. Red Cross 64 descend level 200, contact photo 125 decimal 1. Approach, was that for Red 64? 64, the one and only. Descend level 200, contact photo 125 decimal 1. Descend 200, contact approach on 125.1 Red 64. Alright, let's do it. Three in the Alpha, clear dial at Zulu 25 right. Clear dial at Zulu 25 right, or number three in the Alpha. You're on 1341, ready for this. 1341, descend level 200. Uh, 3704, and uh, a yeah, Echo Yankee. 208, Echo Yankee, Roger, descend, fly level 370, direct Ibrap. Approach Red 64 is at flight level 255. Red Cross 64, Bordeaux Control, Bonjour, identify aspect 6 Tango, arrival at LS runway 32 left, descent flight level 140. 140 for GZ, expect Sega for Red 64. Aspect 6 Tango, Alpha Sierra Papa Echo Tango 6 Tango, ALS Runway 3 to left. Descend 140, expect 6 Tango, uh, Runway 3 to left, Red 6 4. Alright, 6 Tango Alpha. So basically, uh, now what he's done is he's. What is this? Oh, 
Notice he sent us down to 14,000. I'm actually going to take my time descending. Also, I love the one and only. <laughs> that was a great touch. I hope you guys are appreciating the uh, incredible amount of stress you're inducing to me right here. Nice! So uh, he told us to expect a uh, runway uh, tree 2 left, so he did not say what to expect with runway tree 2 left. Uh, 2788, uh, when ready, you are okay to descend fly level uh, 270. Um, uh, flying level 270, when ready, you are okay to descend fly Slow down just a teeny tiny bit here. I don't need to go ripping along. Eh, I could come down a little more than that. If I was a smarter person, I just would have said vertical speed and kept it about 1800, but I'll deal with it. Also, I appreciate, yeah, Reaper, great catch there. Great catch there. That was awesome. I feel like I have to get a shirt for that now. <laughs> oh, look at the turbulence. I'm not touching my controller. Ready to copy your command. See? <laughs> Notice they're sending everybody to Valencia, and notice that we're going up to Toulouse. Runway 27, Naku 5, Whiskey Departure, initially flight level 70, score 5660. So they told us to expect tree 2 left, by the way. Aha, look at that! <laughs> Readback is correct, the startup is approved, QNH 1018, report for ready for taxi. One of these days, I'm going to accidentally hold down the transmission button while I'm talking to you folks. <laughs> Sorry, farmer. Now, do you hear that distortion in the radio? It's worse than the real plane. <laughs> All right, I'll go check similar real quick, see how we're doing. I am so glad they gave us a waypoint that was easy to get to. Oh, this would have been a disaster if they gave us something like over here. Again, I shouldn't be talking. Six four, go ahead. They did say my name, did they? Center Bonjour, uh, Alpine 823 with you at flight level 14. Close approach on 125.175 Red 64. Red 64, Red 64. Close approach, uh, Red 64 is with you at flight level 1664140. Cross six four two the approach. Bonjour, expect an approach on the three two left. Expect ILS three two left for red six four. All right, they give us the ILS. Yes. <laughs> I certainly hope there's no mountains anywhere, because this is a little dangerous. All right, let's get the ILS for Tree 2 left, all ready to go. So the ILS Tree 2 left, uh, for those of you who are following along in that little document I sent you out a little while ago. Let's go ahead and call that one up. The ILS. It's an INA. We need ILS. Or ILS INA. Papa Lima, guidage, radar, tourne à droite, cap 050. Droite, cap 050, top 6, 48, Papa Lima. Okay, I don't speak any French. For the 1026, So this is the part that you don't see. Uh, they're all sitting online right now. I was saying. All sorts of nasty things about me. Because they talk to each other. So it's like, oh, it's this guy again. All right. I do not seem to be uh, grabbing. 6-4, Toulouse approach. Toulouse approach, right, 6-4, go ahead. 
Lewis approach red 64, go ahead. Red 64, descent to altitude 3000 feet, clear to 1018. 3000 feet. All right. Was that 3000 feet for red 64? Correct. Thank you. All right, let's go down. Yeah, six four six Papa Lima, vitesse 252. Mais 250 pas affiché. Top six 48 Papa Lima. 48 Papa Lima, vitesse 240. All right, so we're gonna have to watch out really carefully here because uh, we can't exceed 250. There we go. Nice. All right, we're in big good shape. We're in good shape. All right, let's make sure our everything else all set as far as our approach goes. So uh, ILS for it's going to be 10930. Nice. It already selected it for us. Got to go ahead and open it up real fast so that we can see it. ILS 1432109300. Got it. 109300. Hey, we got it. All right, folks behind me, uh, for those of you still with us. Uh, like I said, this has been way more work than it ever should have been. <laughs> uh, again, we're going to be doing ILS at 32 left. They're probably going to vector us around when we get a little closer. What you don't see here is I have a little uh, a notepad here that I'm kind of taking notes on. And the other thing is once we get under 5 gram, we're going to slow down quite a bit. We'll come down to probably 220. All right, keep it together. We're almost there. Now, the interesting thing is, unless you're on a VATSIM right now, there's a whole thing going on where basically they're talking, everybody's kind of going back and forth describing what they're doing. So there's an interesting little piece here where they're mentioning the fact that this guy is using uh, text only to do his landing, and it's uh, crazy. Uh, anybody spell Blagnac Tower? Is somebody going to explain to me what my aeroplane is doing? Sorry, I'm ultra concentrating at the moment. Top 648 Papa Lima, gauche, cap 360, autorise approcher à la piste 30 de gauche, maintenez 200 nœuds jusqu'à établi. A gauche, cap 360, autorise la piste 30 de gauche, 200 nœuds jusqu'à être établi. Top 648 Papa Lima. Alright, gotta do it manually. Turn right heading 050. <laughs> I hope you all appreciate this. Of course, this is everyday pilot stuff. Uh, cross 6 4 Toulouse approach. Red 6 4, go ahead. We cross 6 4, radar vector, turn right heading 050. 050, Red 6 4. <laughs> oh no! All right, they're vectoring us. Okay, oh, we're almost there. So at this point, oh, what they're doing is they're basically going to vector us kind of out over to the right, and then they're going to swing us around. They're going to intercept the localizer. We're going to intercept the localizer, and then we'll come to us kind of spin it back around here. Shouldn't be too too bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to be slowing down a lot in a second, Dave, because uh, if I'm reading uh, what they're talking a minute ago, uh, they basically said, that, oh, yeah, our next is going to be 118.10. Let's dial that in. 
we go. How are we doing for speed? We're fine. Now, jokes on me, they're watching me right now, and then they're making fun of me, and I'm making fun of them, and they're making fun of me, and they're making fun of them. It's all just good fun. Now, we're going to hold it right on the cusp of you're going too fast. There we go. Perfect. So, I've never been to this part of France. I can say that very... Red 6 4, reduce speed to 2 2 zero knots. So what he's doing now is just remember 13, 14 people ahead of us right now. So he's trying to spread us all out. Right there. Now the interesting thing is I thought he said tree two zero knots. I'm like, uh, unable. Perfect. Delightful. Nice. All right, Mr. TBM, you should be able to keep up with us now. Already got it. And we might as well flip this on too. Also. Oh. 48 Papa Lima établit lock, piste 32 gauche. So, this is 48 Papa Lima, now it's 160 to 4 Zotique, TEB, contact Blagny, XR, 18 Smith, 100. 160 to 4 Zotique, on contact Blagny, XR, 18 Smith, 100. Merci beaucoup, Top 6, 48 Papa Lima. <laughs> I'm easy to identify, but apparently we have to climb because uh, for whatever reason we've kind of ducked under the air the altitude we're supposed to be at. Just need like just a couple feet, just a couple feet. <laughs> Bordeaux, a tool of approach, uh, good day, Bilan 1341, flight level 200, no answer from uh, Bordeaux Center. So request descent, and expecting uh, approach. Yeah, I want to hear for one to lose approach. Bonjour, expect I left to the three to left turn right heading zero seven zero. Turn left uh, zero seven zero, expecting I left three to left uh, below one three four one. Ah. Do you know if the spoilers are currently working? Um, USAPR, I can guarantee you that the uh, spoilers do work. As a matter of fact, if you test them, you will be throwing out your front windshield. This is great. Like, if you take a look at our approach now, he basically is uh, making us cut off the corner here so that we can just kind of zip in. Ugh, so stressful. Uh, by the way, uh, when they tell you to give a heading, it's not a heading, it's a track. Freeway 4, I said right, heading 070, not left. Right, heading uh, uh, 070, Bilan 1341, sorry. Thank you. I'm just glad this airplane has an automatic pilot. Imagine how much fun this would be if you had to fly it by hand, like in the DC-6. 6 speed 200 knots. Reduce speed to 200 knots, red 6 four. Uh, David, they gave us one. ILS tree two left. Yep, they're vectoring us right now. So what he's trying to do is he's trying to get as much room between me and the guy behind him because he knows I'm useless. Hey, go ahead and try out the uh, spoilers there. <laughs> oh boy, we're getting slow. Perfect. He's going to tell us to turn in a second. Here it comes. Here it comes. Remember, everybody went to Spain. We went to France. <laughs> Four, stop descent flight level 150. Stop descent flight level uh, 150. There's so many six... Four, turn left heading 360. Car dial is approach on the 32 left. Turn left uh, running 36. Intercept the ILS for my 32 left. Red 64. So we're going to go ahead and take our left turn. Come north. And we're going to approach Air France 234. Bonsoir, Monsieur. Nous sommes avec vous en descente vers le niveau 300. Air France 234. Air France 234, je rappelle. Here we go. All right. Next thing you want to do is get out your airport diagrams. Air France 234, quel est votre terrain de d'arrivée? Uh, C'est bon. Toulouse. C'est bon. Oui. 
Air France 2, 3, 4, c'est reçu, il va se à retourner à gauche, cap 180, vous êtes encore un peu haut, descendez niveau 100. He actually did a really nice job vectoring us. We're going to be missing our point here by like 15 feet. He did a really good job. So he's 100% better at this. Get ready. Tous les approches, Fox Hotel Papa de retour. Fox Hotel Papa, tous les approches, c'est reçu. Il a géré à retourner à gauche cap 270. À gauche au 270, Fox Hotel Papa. Right there. Milan 1314, turn right heading 100, descend to altitude 3000 feet, scan it 1018. Turn right uh, heading uh, 100 and descending flight of 3000 feet, Milan 1314, scan it 1018. Alright, let's get ready for landing. Now, the cool thing with uh, Europe as opposed to the United States is they do not let you land the plane until everything's off the runway. It's a little different. We're going to drop to 180. We're going to go ahead and dirty the plane up. Coucou, salut tout le monde. There we go. I mean, six four maintain one six zero not until four DME. Maintain one six zero until four DME red six four. Contact six four contact our one one eight left one one bye bye. One one eight point one for red six four. Have a great day. Thanks. Bye. Notre cent vingt départ piste trente deux rattrapé le vol. On a l'Air France départ en vue. Top six quarante six Papa Lima. Bon, mais il est passé à l'heure. Top 6, 48, Papa Lima, traversez piste 32 droite et contactez le sur le sol 121 de Smal 9. Traverse la 32 droite de l'autre côté, le sol 121 de Smal 9. Merci beaucoup. Top 6, 48, Papa Lima. Air France Suski, contact euh, tous les approches 129 de Smal 3. Bye bye. 129, this will be for Air France Suski. Thank you for your service. So, this tower, Red 64, is on ILS 32 left. Red 64, blank to hello, sir. Wind 299, runway 32, left to clear to land. Runway 32, left to land, Red 64. We did it! They gave us clearance! We could put the plane on the ground! Ah, thank God. Ah, all right, folks, it has been one heck of a flight. I'm like still shaking a little bit here. Uh, we're not going to do. Uh, remember, he said keep your speed up to 40 until you get to 4 DMA. There's 4 DMA. We're going to go drop our last notch. All right, the next frequency he's going to be handing us off to is going to be the ground frequency, so I'm going to make sure I've got that all ready to go. 121.90 is going to be the one we need. 121.90. I'm just going to have that armed and ready to go for our landing here. Oh my gosh, folks, this has been crazy. I hope you are uh, enjoying things as much as I am. Now, here's the trick. We're going to taxi to Airbus rather than the uh, gate, because if we taxi to the gate, we have to go all the way around the airport, and it's going to be crazy. All right, I'm going to stick my head up a little bit. We're getting a little low, but that's all right. I need exactly like one a little tiny bit. I still like the one and only red 64. That was awesome. All right, folks, you still got to put the plane on the ground. Remember that. Forcer 902, nous sommes prêts pour le décollage. Sir 902, reçu, j'ai un trafic à l'arrivée, piste 32 gauche, dès qu'il atterrit, je vous donne la clé en ciel. So here's the trick, do you see that right turn right there? Oh my gosh, crosswind, excuse me, I gotta land the plane. Here's the thing, if he tells us to turn left, it's going to take us forever to get back to the ramp. Fingers crossed. Woo! Lost sight of my ground picture there. Alright, let's see what we got here. 
Yeah, we're going to... So we're going to do the gate right on Mike 8. Right on Mike 8 for Red 64, thank you. Yes! So what he did is he told us to take a ride on Mike 8. For those of you guys who don't know where Mike 8 is, remember this taxiway over here where I said I really, really hope they give us this one? They gave us this one. It's right here. Yes! Alright, here's Mike 8. Behind the departing traffic, line up and wait. Uh, Lufthansa 1095. We did it. <laughs> Whoa! That's not the turn. Oops. You didn't see that. You didn't see that. All right, so now they got to call us up and uh, tell us to contact ground. I've just got to kind of sneak ahead a little here. Remember, they have a delayed radar screen. That is so cool. Alright, so now what we have to do is we have to add. Contact to Lazo, au 129 decimal 300, Corsair 902. Add 64, cross on a treat right and contact to ground 121 for Red 64, thank you for your help. And you can cross on a treat right. Lose ground. Red 64 is on mic 8. Request taxi to the terminal. Uh, Red 64, uh, you have not crossed uh, runway 3 to right. Uh, you need to contact to 118 decimal 1 and uh, you'll call me back on the other side. Sorry, I didn't catch all that. Say again for Red 64. At 64, you are supposed to be with tower on 118 decimal 1. There's still one runway for you to cross. Copy, thank you. So what he just did is he said, go back to the other frequency. <laughs> I also got my picture real fast. <laughs> He did say contact 121.9. Okay, for takeoff, Lufthansa 10905. Okay, I'm a little confused now. Because I don't want to hold anybody up either. Toulouse Tower, Red 64 is on mic 8. I just got told to come back to your frequency. Yeah, because Red 64, I told you to cross runway and contact run. So, uh,. It's okay, just hold position now, please. Sorry about that, Red 64. I'm not gonna lie, it's really hard to understand him. Standard 624, Blank Tower, hello, sir, behind the departure traffic. Uh, yes, uh, I could have sw- Oh, he told me to cross and then call. Ah! You got to. Departing traffic line up, runway 2, uh, 3, 2 right, and wait behind Lufthansa 624. Uh, six four after uh, do you have the departing traffic inside uh Boeing seven three seven? Airport uh, one for the uh, to shower uh, a good uh, evening. A holding point uh, on uh, November one for short of runway uh three to right on a five minutes. Did he say the one zero nine five uh, contact through the patch one two nine or this much free by the way? One two nine or decimal three. Thank you for your service. Uh, Lufthansa one zero nine or five. Two. I'm not sure who we're waiting for. Red six four uh, cross one way three right. Red six four cross six right. And red six four after crossing contact one two one nine or one two one point nine or red six four. Thanks for your help. Sorry for the confusion. No problem. Nice. Now we got it. Okay, much better. <laughs> oh man, I am embarrassing the heck out of myself here. Okay, now we're good. Everybody's queuing up behind me. All right, now we can go to 121.9.
Uh, let's see, we are on mic 8. To lose ground, Red 64 is on mic 8. Request taxi to the terminal. Red 64, hello again. Uh, welcome to Toulouse Blagnac. Uh, do you have uh, a stand already assigned to you? Say the last part again, sorry. Do you have a uh, stand uh, already assigned to you? Uh, anything that you would like to send me to for Red 64. All right, so first right on uh, Papa, uh, then the stand uh, Alpha 2-0. Right on Papa, first stand Alpha 2-0, Red 6-4. Nice, let's go! Now notice he was genital. Gentle and nice and gentle and nice. Most important thing. I'm here embarrassing myself so that you don't have to. <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, hopefully you found this uh, to be an interesting. This is probably one of the more memorable live streams I think I've ever had to do before. Uh, this has been an amazing experience. And again, it, like I said, everything is just... Mm. I don't usually fly in Europe, so a couple of my boo-boos there were very, very obvious. And like I said, learn from them. Learn from them. And I hope you guys really, really enjoyed this flight. And uh, like I said, this has been neat. We'll try this again. But uh, next time, I think we're going to do VFR where there are literally no people. So uh, that way we don't have to worry about it too, too much. I'm not using the working title mod, uh, Martin, unfortunately. I'm aware of it. It is a pretty awesome one. But like I said, okay. So we're actually going to come down. Uh, they said Alpha 2-0. So we got all these different, they're actually Tango 2-0, Tango 2-5. It's actually really, really unique how they do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the second left here, and I'm just going to kind of sneak right up at Tango 6-5. Hey. I missed all that. I wonder how many airplanes I blocked. Oh, God. <laughs> nice job. Uh, Iran Air, 6284, you need to contact delivery on 121 decimal 7. See you soon. Notice that... I'm not the only one who gets the freaks wrong. Ground, Delta, uh, ground, KLO 451, push back and start. We're out of here, yes! All right, let's go find a place to park. KLM I'm liking this one right here. One uh, after the aircraft, uh, just in front of you. Uh, okay, uh, stand by, please. Red 6-4, uh, first right, please, you took uh, a wrong turn, you were supposed to say in Papa, um, stand the Alpha 2-0 is way down the line. Sorry, turning around for Red 6-4. Stand Tango 6-0 to rejoin Papa. Where the heck is Alpha 2-0? Okay, now I gotta find it. Turn around! Red 6-4. Red 6-4, go ahead. Okay, uh, you can take uh, uniform 3-2 uh, if it's easier for you. It's uh, the stand just on your left. Stand just on my right, copy. For Red 6-4. To so your left, your left. Your left, Red 6-4. Okay, I'm 4 5 one tax holding point on West 3 two right via Tango 6-5, left on Papa and November 1. All right, let's get that picture and I'll, I'll never do this again. Left on... Oh, ha, ha. Ah, okay. Uh, All right, folks. So hopefully you've enjoyed. I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect now. Oh, I'm free. <laughs> And we're good to go. All right, folks, uh, hopefully you found this enjoyable. I found that incredibly stressful. And um, if I were not concentrating on streaming, concentrating on flying, I probably would have done a better job of it. As always, uh, thank you for flying. Try this out. It's going to be kind of fun. Uh, don't do anything nearly as nasty as what I just did here. Otherwise, you'll embarrass yourself. Again, I'm looking at the chart, and I don't even see an Alpha 2-0. So Alpha 2-0 must be like in the next time zone over but again it's everything that i want hopefully you guys are okay and uh have a great night have a great afternoon and uh we'll see you in two weeks i think we're about to our anniversary so we're gonna have to do something special for it i just haven't decided that <laughs> exactly all right folks enjoy